The problem was that I didn't have a goal with my exercise. I just sort of went with it, which was a big mistake. Hey, and welcome back all of y'all visco girls. Thanks for clicking on the video. And today we are gonna be talking about PewDiePie's video on his fitness routine and what he did to look the way he does on that picture that everyone's going crazy about. It's been all over social media and we're just gonna, you know, watch his YouTube video that he posted and jump right into it. If you guys do enjoy this content, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. With that being said, let's get on with it. Oh my god, PewDiePie ripped! PewDiePie so strong! This has basically been all over any form of social media. So as y'all can tell, PewDiePie definitely looks pretty lean. You can see some muscle definition, and of course, what most people I feel were looking at are his abs, which are pretty noticeable. Now, in my opinion, does he look shorter? Does he look huge? Does he look like he's on supplements or steroids or whatever people may think? No, I, I think he looks pretty fit. Yes, it obviously clearly looks like he works out every once in a while and he just tries to keep his body healthy. I don't necessarily think he's trying to get huge like a bodybuilder, of course, because if that was the case, he'd probably jump on them roids if he possibly could because he has the money or maybe he you may be thinking he wants to take the natural approach, which yes, he could, but I also don't believe he's trying to train very hard because if that was the case, he'd probably be lifting a lot heavier. And as y'all can tell, once the video keeps going, I'll show you what he's actually doing and how he's training, which is clearly not the way to really gain so much huge mass, just to maintain a healthy and, you know, good lifestyle. Welcome. And here's my gym setup. Egger spots me. Thank you very much for doing that. So basically it's just this, uh, what is it called, bench? It's garbage, it's so bad. Okay, so he starts off the video by showing us his gym, or his home gym. And as you guys can tell, it is not very impressive at all. It's, it's just like a bench and he has a dumbbell and that's practically it. He doesn't really have anything like that might be like, oh wow, he has this machine at home. No wonder he's so strong. Like, no, anyone can have this at home. In fact, some people um, that don't even work out that much have better things. They have treadmills, they have all these equipment and it's never even used. I remember as like as a kid in high school, it was probably more than likely probably the smallest kid in school. I had no equipment, not even dumbbells. My dad made me um, these like brick, he put like a pipe and then two buckets and put cement and made them into like, I guess like a barbell you would say. And I was benching like a pole with like these these really old ugly tires. And that's how I made like baby gains. And that's how I was introduced into lifting. And as you can tell, PewDiePie does not have anything amazing worth saying like, oh yeah, this equipment is getting you all the gains. Like, no, clearly um, there's a lot of people that have much more better things than that. But let's keep going. So I write down all the, uh, this is me day one. I was doing flat press 50 and I was doing 70 and then I could do, it's not that bad actually. I haven't improved that much. It's just, I hurt my arm recently. So I haven't really, I'm careful. Okay, so he shows us his workout journal, which is pretty much his, um, like how he writes, like how he's been improving more than likely. I don't think he specifically said anything about nutrition wise or like what he's been eating. It's just his workouts. I'm pretty sure he's just writing his uh, reps and sets and how he's been improving over time, which is a good way to know if you have actually been improving while you've been at the gym or you haven't, unless you're like, like me personally, I don't really write anything down. I just kind of like remember like, I'm like, oh yeah, well, I've been doing this many reps for this much weight and it's been improving. Now I can do one more rep or, or in more sets or something. You know, I kind of remember I, I've been working out for a good time, so I don't really need to write it down. But for someone who's barely starting, it's a great way to keep in track if you've been improving, what you're lacking, and just to make sure you're keeping everything in one bundle. Also, he did mention that he didn't hurt himself while working out which is a simple thing more than likely it's because he doesn't have very great training or mainly because it's a home workout so of course his equipment isn't the best as y'all can tell so when getting injured it's always important to just let that body part rest if you hurt your shoulder or your arm it's better to rest and not work out for a week two weeks three weeks even if you need a month it's better than keep on 
hitting that workout or doing you know exercises and then injuring yourself even worse to the point where you have to go to the hospital and be out for half a year or something you know it's 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 never it's never great to get injured but let's keep going if you have if you don't have access to a gym this is a pretty good base i would say uh gym is always better because you're gonna have machines and you're not gonna hurt yourself like i do like a fucking idiot so is a gym better than an at-home gym yeah uh 100 agree with that the reason for that of course you have so many machines you have trainers you have people there that can protect you if you fall you get injured they're gonna be there they'll more than likely help and assist you if you've got hurt there not only that i've always been a person who believes that if you're in a gym and you're starting off you know yes you might feel embarrassed but you just gotta overcome that go into a gym work out more than likely it's better if you go with a partner that way you feel a little more comfortable when you're first you know on your first date at the gym you don't know how to use machines and stuff so take someone or there and or get a personal trainer you know there's personal trainers there that can help you out but not only that um, I've always been a believer that when I'm at the gym, you always see, there's always usually a bigger guy than you, unless you're just a monster and you're just that big. But there's usually someone that you see there at the gym working out and you're like, wow, I wish I could be that big or I wish I had that much definition in my biceps. Those people motivate you to push harder, believe it or not. When you're at home, there's not really much of a motivation other than yourself, which yes, it's possible, but it's a little more difficult. So. I strongly agree, make sure you hit a gym whenever you can, whenever you get a chance, because being at home can be a little harder than just, you know, just find the motivation to go to a gym. In 2016, I had never been to a gym before in my entire life, and I, I didn't know anything. I didn't know how to properly squat, I didn't know what reps meant, I didn't know what sets meant. I, <laughs> but I wanted to try and get in shape, in better shape at least, so I kind of forced myself to go to a gym. I. Uh, I was terrified, I had no idea what to expect and uh, it was just uh, the overconfidence in me just said okay you just go in there and just how hard can it be you just put up and down weights anyone can do that <laughs> don't be me basically what I was saying like I said before if you've never been to a gym take a friend so they can teach you the right ways because you don't want to get injured knowing the forms clearly he he's gotten injured before because he didn't know the form but making sure you know the forms is most important before you try to lift heavy weights. And then clearly he understands that, which is, which is great. And then Tuesdays I do leg, squats, deadlifts, yada yada, lunges. And then Wednesday I do pull exercises. Then Thursday I do leg, leg again. And then Friday I finish with a mix of push and pull. Okay, so he talks about his routine and how he breaks it down. And pretty much there's, I would say there's no real way how you would break it down like there's no wrong and there's no right in my opinion just experiment however you feel it's better mondays most people do chest you know and then leg days are the worst days you know so just do it on whatever day you know but the ways i do it is usually like monday i do chest tuesdays i do shoulders wednesdays i do back thursdays i do legs and then Fridays I'll do chest again. It just kind of repeats itself. I don't have a specific day where I do just arms. I kind of just put them in. So if I do chest at the end of the workout, I'll do arms and then I'll do some cardio or abs. Pretty much that's what PewDiePie is doing as well. So there's no right or wrong. Uh, you have to change your diet if you want to lose body fat. And the, probably the biggest difference for me was cutting out alcohol, which is something I talked about before. Um, I'd say maybe a year ago, I quit alcohol for the first time. 100% agree, yes. Nutrition is the most important thing in my opinion. If you're trying to lose weight, if you're trying to gain weight, if you're trying to gain muscle, nutrition is the way to go. The workouts, if most people feel like working out, you know, it's as hard as you can push and you get bigger and stronger. Yes, that will contribute to your gains or to how lean you're gonna get, but work, um, the nutrition itself is more important. If you're just eating junk food, don't expect to look lean. If you're just eating salads, don't expect to gain weight. You know, it's common sense. But yes, he truly understands that. He understands that nutrition is more important than anything else. And he even said it himself, he was really like into alcohol. He loved whiskey, you know. A lot of people like drinking and that's cool if you're into that. But if, it's, if you're trying to be fit and it's affecting you, I would, you know, try to push it away. If you drink a lot, then maybe just take 
one drink a week or whatever you know whatever it may be how depending on how addicted you are to it you know just try to cut it off try to not take it like he said he does say that he drinks only socially and that's probably the best way to do it unless you have parties all the time but if that's the case then just stay away from it but yeah nutrition is the number one key factor to gaining or losing weight society looks at anger a lot of ways as something manly as well and i think recognizing these things as as just that and i started meditating on it a lot and i was able to control my anger much much better so this doesn't really help with that as well but i would still you know feel it i would still feel that anger even though i didn't act on it the same way i used to i will feel happy and i will feel virtuous by the fact that i wasn't acting on my anger anymore but i wasn't my happy self that i would normally used to be and as much as i would like to at least uh but protein makes you so so much fuller and it doesn't make your at least for me my blood sugar spike as much so that problem for me which was a big problem just completely disappeared just by me trying to eat more protein so he talks about eating more protein makes him happier um, he struggled with anger issues and he was always a mean all the time I'm assuming but he says that eating protein made him happier and you're probably wondering well, how, how does that even make sense well here's the thing this is what I think happened me when I was younger I was always hungry like I said I was probably one of the leanest most skinniest kids in high school back like in freshman and sophomore year before I started working out or anything and one of those things might I was always angry too like I was always like I don't know not angry per se like but if I got hungry I would get really really mad like I'd have like not a panic attack but I'd kind of like just be like mean to, like to people you know like I would just start yelling and being a little crybaby and laying down on the ground saying I'm gonna die of hunger and I feel like maybe this is his cause too it's not that he was angry it's just he was hungry like he just needed to eat food and now that he's actually eating it's like his body is more happy because he has actual nutrition and his body's not starving so that's my opinion on that that's what i think happened to him not that he's necessarily an angry person it's just that he was hungry he was starving himself you know he needed nutrition uh last thing working out will not solve all your problems it will not fix any sort of issues there's obviously many reasons to work out that are very positive you you will look you'll look better you'll feel more confident you'll be more healthy but these are obviously degenerate reasons to work out so he talks about how working out does not solve all your problems and is that true yeah it's not going to solve all your problems if you suffer from really bad depression it's not going to help um it will help with depression if you're working out you know because you let all that stress out but doesn't necessarily mean it'll cure it if you have some there's so many things that won't cure you know of course working out is just a lifestyle you could do or you could try every once in a while it's not gonna fix all your problems like for example if you're skinny if you're a bigger person yes you might lose weight does that mean you're gonna feel happy about yourself no not necessarily um, I've gotten a lot bigger since I was like little and skinnier and I'm still pretty lean right now but am I happy with myself yeah yeah it definitely helped me but i'm not satisfied yet i still want to gain more muscle i still want to get bigger but am i happier in how i look yeah but that might not be for everyone so if that's your thoughts and that's how you think it's going to be don't necessarily think that way because it doesn't mean all your problems will be solved anyways guys i hope you guys did enjoy this video this little review on pewdiepie's you know uh floor gang video or whatever he wanted to do with the whole workout thing that people were talking about if you guys did enjoy make sure to leave a like and subscribe and i will catch y'all in the next one later